Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to get explosion effects using Filmora. First thing you need to do is import a clip onto your timeline. I've already done that and I'm going to drag it to the timeline and keep it there. It's a normal clip of... Now click on Elements and click on Cinematic. If you don't get these fire effects, you can search epic film effects. I like this one, so I'm going to choose this and drag it to the top of this clip. I'm just going to delete the rest of this. Now you have explosion effect but it's not being tracked as per the motion of the camera. If the video is moving to the left, the explosion should stay at the same place. To get that, double click on it, then choose video, and check motion tracking. Now put this box in any of the object on the display. I'm going to put it right here and make it as small as possible. And click on start tracking. The tracking is now complete. And here click on this and choose the effect. Now let's place the effect somewhere on the screen. I want this effect right in the middle of this world. So I'm going to keep it there. This place looks good. So you can see the explosion stays right in the middle and it is being tracked with the motion of the camera. This one thing that's making the explosion look fake is the color. The background color of this video is not looking that good. So click on colors and click on white balance and for such an explosion I want the whole video to be in a more warm palette. And to give it more of a warm look and click on advanced and I want to increase the shadows and decrease the highlights I'll click OK. You can do more fine tuning and adjust the color grading to match the explosion exactly. For now, this is just for a tutorial sake. And this is the easiest way to get explosion using Filmora. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more videos like these, click on the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.